Hello everyone, welcome back to the video and today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft plugin server for Minecraft 1.19. So if you guys do enjoy this video, I really appreciate a like, also a sub would be amazing. So today guys, I'm actually downloading a spigot slash git bucket server. Now this is very easy to actually get. Now before we do this, we need to check on how much RAM you've actually got on your computer. So you do need quite a lot of RAM to actually run a plugin server, and especially if you have a lot of plugins you want to run. And if you have a lot of players in your server as well, you will need a lot of RAM. So to check on how much RAM you've got, what you're going to want to do is actually come down to your window key down here. By the way, I'm doing this on Windows 10, and it's Minecraft Java Edition, so just to let you guys know that. So yeah, click on the little window key down at the bottom here, then click on Settings just here. And once you click on Settings, click on System, and then click on About. And just up here, you can see installed RAM, mine is 64 gigabytes. Now, a lot of you will probably have 8 to 16 gigabytes of RAM. Now, if you have lower RAM than that, like a 4 or 6, that you might have a few uh, performance issues with your Minecraft server. It all depends on how much plugins and players you have on your server. So, yeah, just note this down. I've got 64 gigabytes, but a lot of you might have 8 or 16. So, yeah, definitely check this and write it down or just to remember it because we will need to uh, look at that later on. So I want to click on the close button just now and I want to say that this server is not 24-7 but you can run it 24-7 if you keep your computer on but a lot of you won't want to do that. So yeah, this server is most likely not going to be 24-7. If you want to get a 24-7 Minecraft server, I recommend checking out Apex Hosting. I will leave a link in the description down below. You can check out them. Now they have really good servers on that uh, site so yeah, definitely check them out. Link in the description down below for that. But anyway, what we're going to want to do now is actually right click on your desktop. Anywhere on your desktop is alright. Then click on new. Then click on folder now i'm going to call this just server just like that i'm actually going to call it server one because i've already got a server folder but yeah i'm gonna call mine server one you can call it whatever you want you can call it server plugins if you want to it doesn't matter so there we go server one that is my folder so now we're going to want to do is click on the link in the description down below to this website just here so yeah it's git bucket as you can see just here and it is for the version 1.19 so what you're going to want to do now is click on the download button just over here just click on download so once you come to this page here just click on the spigot 1.19 dot jar there as you can see just here click on that don't click on create server because they want you to pay for that and yeah you don't want to do that if you want to get a free Minecraft server so up here click on that and then it should just download in the corner just over there now it's actually quite hard to see this so yeah make sure you do click on the spigot uh, 1.19 dot jar very simple make sure you click on that i'm gonna drag that to my desktop now now you can actually get rid of this page, you don't need that no more. Now as you can see here, mine's got a little coffee mug in it, just like that, as you can see. If yours does not have that, you need to install Java, I will leave a link in the description down below for that as well. And also a few other things as well, just in case this jar doesn't work, I will leave a video in the description down below as well, where you can actually watch a video on how to actually fix this, because sometimes it doesn't fix for some people. But anyway, if you've got this coffee mug just here, it's all good. Just drag this into your server folder, mine is server1. Double click in here, and as you can see just here, it is all there. So now what you're going to want to do is actually right click in your folder, anywhere in your folder, it doesn't matter, and then click on new, then click on text document, just leave it like that, double click into your text document, and paste in this code just here. Now I will leave this link in the description down below, so you can copy this, and uh, yeah, basically, um, we need to change the RAM in here. So as you see here, this is 6 gigabytes, I'm using 6 gigabytes of RAM, just here but if you remember earlier i had 64 gigabytes some of you might only have 8 or 16 so yeah, have a look at your ram like i said earlier you got to write it down or just remember it but yeah i've got six gigabytes and yeah some of you might need to actually change this down lower so if you've got eight gigabytes of ram i would recommend changing this down to a four or even a two but mostly a four would be good if you've got eight gigabytes of ram if you've got 16 gigabytes of ram you should be able to move this up to six gigabytes and that should be plenty for your minecraft server uh, with a few plugins and players but if you're gonna have loads of plugins and loads of players i recommend changing this up probably up to about 10 if you're having loads of players and loads of plugins but yeah i'm only gonna keep this on six because i'm only gonna have like a couple of plugins or something like that not many at all so once you've done the ram bit just change this to whatever you need so four and change this to a four just like that if you want to add four gigabytes very simple but mine is going to be six gigabytes and now what you want to do is make sure your spigot uh, dash 1.19.jar matches the same name you've got in here. So if this says something different, say if it said Minecraft server, you're going to want to swap this to Minecraft server.jar. But you don't need to. As you can see here, spigot 1.19, leave it as that and leave it as that just in there. So now from here, click on file, click save as. Make sure it goes back into your server folder. As you can see there, server 1. This is my server 1 folder back here. And down here, click on all files 
And you can also change this to whatever you want. You can change it to run.bat. You can put it to go.bat. So I'm going to call mine go.bat. Just like that. Make sure you do put the dot .bat in there. You need to do that. Click on save. And then you can close this one down here. And you can actually get rid of this text document. You don't need that no more. And as you see right there, I've got a go.bat file. Now I'll just double click on that. And it's going to do a few things. And it's going to close itself down in a second. As you can see right here, press any key to continue. I'm going to click on the spacebar and it's got rid of it. So what you want to do now is click on to the EULA just up here. So the EULA.txt just there. Double click on that. So from in here, what you're going to want to do is actually change this false to true. So just like that, change it to true. Then click on file and save. You have to agree to the EULA rules. Um, if you don't know much about it, you can check it out just there. So you have to agree to that. So there we go. Now that is done. So now what I'm going to do is click on the go.bat again, double click on that. And now it's actually going to load your Minecraft server up. And if you keep watching here, it should be adding things in here. As you see, the world has come in here. Plugins is in here as well now. And basically the world will just load up. And once it's actually loaded up, it should say done in here. So it might take a couple of minutes. It all depends on how fast your computer is. So as you see, my Minecraft server has now done. As you see, done. It's all loaded up and ready. But we do not have any plugins installed. So we're going to want to do that. So in here just type in stop just like that click on enter and let the server close down so guys now what you're going to want to do is actually find yourself some plugins so i will leave a link in the description down below to the spigot website and from here you're going to want to download some plugins so look for some plugins you want now you make sure that it is minecraft 1.19 because that is the server version we downloaded minecraft 1.19 and if they are 1.17 they might still work it depends on the plugin Sometimes older plugins can work in newer Minecraft uh, servers, but most of the time you, you're going to want to go for the version of your server. Mine is uh, 1.19, that's what I'm going to go for. So just go through here, you've got loads of plugins from here. You can use other sites as well to find plugins. I'm just going on this website because it just seems pretty easy. And uh, yeah, basically I can find whatever I want. So I'm going to click on this one here, the anti-void one protection and as you can see right here it supports minecraft 1.19 so that is what we want and from here we're going to want to do is click on the download button just up here and then it should just download down here and i'll drag that to my desktop just like that and now i'm going to close this page down now i've got this on my desktop just here pretty simple that is my plugin for minecraft 1.19 now what i'm going to want to do to install it is actually go over to my minecraft server folder just here this is where we installed the server to now from here you're going to want to go into plugins now you're probably going to have this plugin in here automatically, this folder, just leave that, you need to have that in there, just leave that alone. So I'm going to drag my plugin in here, there it is, leave it in there, back one, and now what you're going to do is actually load up your Minecraft uh, server. So double click on the go.bat, and now it's actually going to load my Minecraft server up. Now also, uh, while my Minecraft server is loading up, as you can see right here, my server plugin is actually in here, it's all working and sometimes you can check if your plugin is not working by just going in here. You should see probably an error uh, information if it's not working. But mine is all working as you can see. It's all come up. So now you should be able to go into your Minecraft server and use this plugin or any plugin you install. So guys, I'm actually on my Minecraft right now. So click on multiplayer. And as you see, I've got no servers in here. If this is like this for you, you need to actually add your server in here. So what you're going to want to do is actually go down to command prompt. So go to your search bar then go to command prompt just like that and now here is your command prompt so in here you're going to want to type in ipconfig and now once you type that in click on enter now a lot of this stuff is going to be blurred for you but what you're looking for is actually the ipv4 address just down here now once you find that on the end there should be a random load of numbers and with lots of like little dots in there as well then all you got to do is just copy that so copy all those numbers on the end there so once you've copied all those numbers you can click on add server just down here you can uh, change the name if you want to server address that's where you put the ip into mine is going to be blurred because i don't want to share that information now once that is done click on done and here is your minecraft server it's all up on here and all running and we've actually got the plugin in this server as well now i'm not too sure how to actually load the plugin i uh, i might need some commands and stuff like that i did not really look into the, actually that plugin i downloaded but that doesn't matter but before you guys do this and share your ip with your friends make sure you do trust your friends because they can do some uh naughty stuff to your ip they can change stuff and it wouldn't be very good on your end 
So yeah, make sure you do trust your friends before you give them your IP address. Now, if you guys want to get a Minecraft server that is 24-7 and you can actually trust your friends with the IP address, I'd definitely check out Apex Hosting. I will leave a link in the description down below to Apex Hosting. And there, they have a 24-7 Minecraft server with protection and all that. And you can actually trust your friends with the IP address there because it's all safe. So yeah, definitely check them out. Link in the description down below for them. But yes, guys, if you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a like and a subscribe as well. That would be amazing. And I'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.